This video demonstrates real-time rendering of hatching strokes. Drawing surfaces using hatching strokes simultaneously conveys tone, material, and form. We've developed a method for rendering hatching strokes over a 3D model in real time. The density of the strokes on the surface adjusts dynamically according to surface tone. To enhance the viewer's perception of shape, we've chosen a form of frame-to-frame -frame coherence in which strokes appear stuck to the surface and are roughly aligned with principal curvatures. Our method achieves interactive frame rates by leveraging texture mapping hardware. We construct a series of texture maps containing hatching strokes. Notice that the strokes in lighter images also appear in darker images. We can smoothly blend between these images to achieve a continuum of tones. As we transition from one tone to the next, strokes fade in or out. Using conventional MIP maps, strokes will appear to grow smaller or larger as the model moves away from or toward the camera. Instead, we construct a series of hatch images at different scales. The smaller images contain subsets of the strokes in larger images. Using these custom MIP map images, we achieve appropriate stroke size and spacing, as well as smooth transitions between scales. Here's the collection of hatch images containing strokes at different scales and tones. We call this collection a tonal art map. Using hardware texturing, we can apply tonal art maps to smooth surfaces at interactive frame rates. To achieve smooth shading, each face of the model is drawn by blending among several hatch images. The shading responds to motion of the model, or motion of the light. This model has a natural underlying parameterization, which is revealed by the direction of the strokes. However, for other models, a parameterization may not be so obvious. So we apply tonal art maps to arbitrary surfaces using the lapped textures method presented by Prawn et al. at SIGGRAPH 2000. Hatching strokes work well with lap textures because the stochastic nature of the strokes hides the patch boundaries. The original model of this hand has 15,000 faces. Because of overlapping patches, the lap texture draws 22,000 faces. We're able to render at interactive frame rates by exploiting multi-texturing hardware to blend between images in the tonal art map. Here we show animating both the model and the light. Using an NVIDIA GeForce 2 graphics card, we get roughly 25 frames per second, or 32 if we don't draw silhouettes. Our latest implementation, which uses vertex programs on a GeForce 3 card, runs roughly five times faster. We can also threshold the imagery to nearly black and white, albeit at the cost of aliasing. For this gargoyle model, we use a tonal art map containing stipple strokes suggestive of concrete or stone. For most of the models shown in this video, the direction of strokes was determined automatically based on principal curvatures. However, for this model, we specified the direction by hand to follow semantic features of the shape. In order to darken the eyes and mouth of this bunny model, we simply modulate the lighting calculation with a color at each vertex. These features were painted on the model by hand. By decoupling the patch shape from the hatch texture on this Venus model, we're able to adjust the stroke's orientation and scale at runtime. Moving the strokes reveals the patch boundaries, but when we stop, the boundaries vanish. Finally, we show the Venus model in a variety of styles. For example, this white on black scratchboard style, or chalk and charcoal on gray paper. In summary, we achieve hatching with smoothly varying tone, appropriate stroke size and spacing, temporal and spatial coherence, and interactive frame rates by exploiting multi-texturing hardware to blend between images in a tonal art map. This concludes our video.